So this is the second down run um, from the offense. We're in second and seven, and um, we again kind of pick up a short gain here. We're running power. You can see that Malcolm Brown ends up just running into the pile and picking up about three or four yards. Um, so uh, I just wanted to point out uh, on some of these plays where it looks like the offensive line didn't do its job, um, that's not always necessarily the whole story. Um, first of all, look at this power play, and you look at the separation that we were able to create between the defensive end and the defensive tackle. We've got a beautiful seal on the tackles here. Um, and that kind of cuts off these backside defenders. So the two defenders that are, you know, we really need to worry about to open this play up are these two linebackers. Um, Snow is pulling across the formation, and he's going to pick up one of those linebackers. The issue is this free linebacker right here. And that's the reason why Malcolm Brown ends up running into the pile, is because we have a free defender. Why do we have a free defender? Um, that has to do with DJ Grant's decision here. Um, so this is just a mental gaffe on his part. Um, he's assuming that this defensive end is going to be blocked down and that he should pull around Irby. Instead, Irby base blocks, so really he needs to read this block. But with his alignment, the most likely scenario is that he needs to get his assignment through the hole here. So by going around here, he basically runs himself right out of the play, leaves this defender free, and leads this play to not really going for any gain. Um, if he goes through the hole there and picks up the linebacker through the hole, then this play's probably got a pretty good running lane. 